Zee. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I talk about the movie? Of course, sure. Anyway, beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Great, great movie. When you landed on the moon, and the hatch was open. Mm. At that time, there is uh, maybe about 15 seconds silence. Mm -hmm. that, that's amazing. Really, how many people are going to do that? Well, you know we didn't really go, right? <laughs> I know, I know. You're really going. We just, we just pretended. But um, but it was uh, but it was fun to try to try to convey for those 15 seconds, maybe to the audience, what it might feel like to be in space or be on the moon in that case, and also to try to let the image uh, stand on its own for a moment. The moon as an image if you're standing on it or if you're that close, must be so overpowering and awe-inspiring that it felt like that would be a moment in the movie to drop everything else out and just let the image stand for itself for, for a moment. <laughs> Do you know Scott Kerry? Scott yeah. Kerry. yeah, we got to we meet him, met him uh, in Florida a month or so ago. It was really cool getting to talk with him. When I was Scott Kerry was calling me, I said, I'm ready. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. oh, cool. We talked with him about uh, just his experience living in space, spending all that time in outer space. And just, uh, yeah, it was sort of amazing. Mm -hmm. Getting his uh, his perspective on on it and, and also on the the history of the moon missions, you know, someone like him who was inspired by Neil Armstrong and people of that generation, and he's sort of the next generation, today's generation of space pioneers. You should meet Al Warden as well. Mm. You had a meet with him. Yeah, he was an advisor on our film. It was really cool having someone on the movie who uh, could occasionally say. Well, you know, Ryan, when I went to the moon, <laughs> I used my right arm instead of my left yeah. arm, or, you know, and whatever we could. Uh, just to hear those words on set, when I went to the moon, <laughs> it's now words you'll be, you know, in a few years you'll be able to say. When, when do you go? 2023, I hope. Yeah, and you're bringing eight people with you, is that right? From eight to 10. Maybe. Yeah. And we should bring uh, one or two uh, astronauts. I'm glad to hear you're bringing some astronauts. As you know, uh, I talked at the conference at the SpaceX. Yeah. Uh, I talked like this. I want to bring uh, any film director too. I th well, I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. you, you, to, to, uh, I see now why, why you brought that up when we asked if you were going to film it. I, I, I do think you should have uh, so, so, someone, uh, someone with an eye behind the camera who can, uh, who can kind of film the experience for, for everyone down here. An up-close view of the moon, just what's, what that's like. It was really cool to, to try to kind of recreate it um, in our movie, but, but just imagining Recreating it made me even more imagine what uh, what that must be like to just look out through the window and suddenly see the moon not as a far off object in the distance but as a up close terrain. Mm. How surreal that must be! That, that that's that's a view that I would um, I'll certainly be jealous of you getting. What a session we did. I I was drama. I know. I created yes. for the band. Oh, you you too? I, I, I used to be a drummer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is leading to an impromptu jam session, isn't it? Do we have a drum set? We're all right, gonna go right behind there. <laughs> you could have a great 
jam session in space, orbiting around the moon. You, should, you could bring like a great, I don't know, just bring like a great jazz musician and have them just improvise as they see the moon rise up. It'd be pretty cool, and then record it. You should be first film director to the moon. First man. <laughs> Uh, 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 should be. This is an invitation. Oh yeah, that's very kind of you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, maybe I'll uh, think. Uh, let me. I'll think about it. And discuss with my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. I think also what's so special about what you're what you're doing is is uh, something that really. I, I felt profoundly when we were making this movie that the, there's something so poignant about the fact that uh, so much work was spent sending people to the moon in 1969 to, or 1968 till 1972 and that since then, you know, uh, almost 50 years since uh, uh, no, no human has been back to the moon. And so, looking at history with that little, this little blip of a few years where people went to the moon, um, it's such a singular, kind of unprecedented and unrepeated blip in history. And so just, um, it's wonderful to think that uh, in a few years' time, we might uh, be able to circle back and have that not just be an unrepeated experience um, and get to send a new generation there. Well, absolutely, good luck. Very <laughs> yeah, 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 short. That goes without saying. Uh, no, it's. Um, I mean, it's. It's such a surreal conversation to be having right now. You know, yeah. it's like something that we were having a hard time fathoming while we were shooting the film, and uh, you know, it's. It's such an extraordinary thing that it's hard to really, uh, you know, wrap your head around, and it's. It's. The, the fact that you're actually going to do it is even uh, somehow adding to the, the surrealness yeah. of, of our little experience of this. So it's it's uh, amazing. I hope you have an incredible uh, experience, and I look forward to seeing. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Nice thank to you. meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank